Welcome, Hell Sovereign Overlords. I've invited you all here because you represent the controlling powers of our city. Together, you own millions of souls, souls at risk with the new extermination schedule. We need to discuss what can be done to minimize the impact to our interest. Zestial, so good to see you, my friend. Alistair? Yes, I know. Sure, you've all been wondering. Not really, but welcome back in. This year's extermination was brutal. Far more even than years past. We have assessed that about 16% of the population was lost. With the Angelic Legions now returning twice as quickly, I think it prudent. We yes, I've got it handled. Well. That's what I thought. <laughs> yes, they're all a joke. <laughs> Thank you, V. See you soon. Kisses, darling. Nice of you to join us, Velvet. Will your colleagues be joining? No. Bag who thinks she's tough shit. Charming. So, as I was saying, we need to discuss... Yes. <laughs> Where did you get this? We found it during extermination. War with such meager proof. That's possible. That's possible. Ooh, That's possible. Show some respect. Check your behavior. No one speaks to Zestial that way. Did you expect us to sit back and take your insolent brazen display? <laughs> Mother? Ay, que barbaridad. Camilla, what troubles thou? It's nothing, Zestial, really. The veiled angel. T'was by thy hand, was it not? Let's not talk about it. Mom, maybe he should know. Nobody should know. I did what I had to do. I am not discussing this. What weighs on your soul, old friend? I implore you to share the load. If it was that, be known. I always thought that I would keep blood off my face. But when that thing attacked I had to act to cross that line and keep them safe but if anyone knew then all of hell would rise to war and who's to say who'd survive the fray I might lose the ones that I was killing for convince me not to silence you for good. We know an angel fell at your hands, and we need to know how. No. no means nothing to me. You have to do better than that. 90 seconds. With your knowledge, we wouldn't have to helplessly stand by while- Clearly, I am not the helpless one here. 80 seconds. Well, then why? Why wouldn't you use what you know to fight? To avoid the very problem you and your little friends are facing right now, I will not invite destruction into my house on my people. You think we asked for this? How exactly has that worked out for her? 45 seconds. You didn't see the look. 
They won't stop until all of hell is wiped out so you can help us make a stand here together or you can stand alone tomorrow. And what do you think your chances will be then? You're out of time. <laughs> Angels attack quickly, viciously, and without mercy. You'll need to defend better than that. You want me to teach you how to beat angels? That's what I'm doing. By beating the shit out of me? I'm not used to fighting with long hair. By showing you the flaws in your own fighting style. Yours and all your sisters. Wait, you know I'm an exorcist? How? You have a giant X over your eye and wield an angelic spear. It's not rocket science. Before you found out about me, did you know angels could be harmed? No. <gasps> it shows in how you fight. You leave yourself open with every swing. You fight like someone unafraid of harm. And this is what you'll take advantage of. Angels wield no shields, little armor, and fight with reckless abandon. Strike them here, here, and here. With what? Some secret weapon of yours? Stupid girl, are you really so dense you don't realize you're holding the answer? Angelic weapons? It's that simple? How has no one else figured this out? Angelic steel isn't common. And those who have it aren't exactly rushing off to test it against exorcists. But my daughters and I were cornered in that last extermination. I tried to buy time for my girls to free and, well... You don't become an angelic arms dealer without arming yourself first. I see you're driven by your detestation. Your every step is stuck with animus. You need a different type of motivation. Or there's no way that you can handle this. I know you're thirsting for vengeance, Baggy. You're out for blood. But you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love. Out for love. You're out for blood, but you'll only stand a chance if you're out for love. Out for love, 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 love. Think of who you care about. Protect them and be out for love, love, love. You're gonna fight without gloves, and when that push comes to shove, yeah, you just might rise above. Long as you're out for love. Well, look at that. You might just survive this. The janitor said, quote, Charlie told me to stab, so I did.